Hi guys, welcome to Chris Ryan Golf. You join me in the tailor-made fitting suite here at the Belfry. And in this video, we're gonna give you three keys that you need to focus on to give you a better rotation in the golf swing. So this is part of a new set of videos I'm gonna do, which we're just gonna focus on three things that you need to do in order to execute a certain shot or a certain aspect of the golf swing. So as I said there, in this, in this video, we're looking at the rotation, the back swing, uh, and we're gonna give you three things that you can focus on which is gonna help you achieve a better rotation. Better rotation is gonna do a couple of things to your golf game. It's gonna give you, hopefully, some more power. Uh, because we know that you know good rotation can be certainly a, a big element in, in generating some speed. Uh, but it's also going to give you some consistency in what you do. Often people get the rotation incorrect and that can lead to poor strikes and in turn poor shots. So the first thing is, num point number one would be, if we're going to generate a good rotation, we need to allow the hips to turn. Okay, so point number one is allow the hips to rotate as well. Far too many golfers are trying to stabilize the lower body, trying to hold the knees and the hips in place. And what that does is it really restricts how much we can rotate. Every golfer I've ever seen would be almost, well, would not be able to generate enough shoulder rotation without some amount of hip rotation, okay? So those golfers out there who are maybe trying to sort of hold the hips in place, we will be able to achieve some rotation, but absolutely nowhere near as much as we need. So, point number one, as I said, would be, as you're making that backswing, allow the hips to rotate, okay? I would like around about 45 degrees of rotation. That's a very general number. I know it's going to be a little bit different for every golfer, but about 45 degrees of rotation in my hips is going to therefore allow me to get the desired amount of rotation in my upper body, okay? If we're going to allow the hips to turn, then we would probably find that if they're turning correctly on an angle, we'd probably find that the flex in the knees is gonna change as we make our backswing. This is absolutely fine. So if we're allowing these hips to rotate, we're also allowing these knees to move as well. So allowing the hips and the knees to move in the correct fashion is gonna facilitate you or allow you to make the right rotation up in the upper body, okay? So really, really important that if we're trying to get a good rotation and a full rotation is that we allow the hips to move in that backswing. Okay? That's really, really important. So that's point number one. Point number two is to ensure that the shoulders are rotating on an angle. So again, if I turn sort of down the line here, take my starting position and just place that club across my shoulders, we are wanting to make sure that as we rotate, we are rotating with the shoulders on an angle. What that means is that from setup, the left shoulder will get lower, closer to the ground, and the right shoulder will get higher, further from the ground. So you can see there I've rotated on an angle. If I turn and face you from the front, you'll notice that from here, my left shoulder will go down and my right shoulder will come up. That's really, really important because what that does is it gives us a pure rotation, as I call it. It gives us a good rotation. Too many golfers are trying to rotate and keep the shoulders level, okay? We can do that. I can rotate and keep the shoulders level, but you'll see that's given me a sort of very, very different look to the, the end of my rotation. If that was the top of my backswing, I'm gonna find it very, very difficult from there to deliver the club back to the ball consistently. Okay, so we've got the first two things there. We've got allow the hips to rotate. We've got let the shoulders turn on an angle. The final point, which is very much linked to the second point, is I want you to make this rotation while staying very, very centered over the golf ball. So as I take my starting position here, I want to feel at my rotation this keeps me over the ball. I don't want to rotate and make any lateral movement this way. Equally, I don't want to rotate and make any lateral movement towards the target. So my rotation should happen, and it, but it should with me staying more over the golf ball, okay? So rotating and staying over the golf ball. That's gonna be the third point. That's gonna mean that we can make a full rotation, but we maintain a better relationship with the golf ball. If we can maintain a better relationship with the golf ball, we should find it a lot easier to strike the ball consistently from the middle of the golf club. Those golfers who struggle with strike are often the golfers who are turning, making lateral movements off the ball, finding it very, very difficult to get back to where they need to be. So three really key points. If we are going to make a good turn, we need to make sure that the hips are also rotating a good amount in the backswing. That's number one. Number two, we need to make sure that the shoulders are rotating on an angle. And that's gonna help us achieve number three, which is making sure we do this rotation while staying very much over the golf ball, okay? If we can do those three things, 
we should have a good rotation. A good rotation would be, for the majority of golfers, getting about 90 degrees with the shoulders. Better players, stronger hitters tend to achieve a little bit more than that. Very, very difficult to measure this on camera, on a 2D camera. We'd need sort of a 3D machine to measure just how much rotation. But as a visual, you know, you're looking at around about that, what looks to be 90 at least. If we can do that, we should be able to hit some better golf shots. The rotation is something which golfers do wrong day in, day out. They either don't rotate well enough or they under rotate, so they don't achieve enough rotation often because the hips and the knees are trying to stay a little bit too stable. So really allow those hips to move, allow the shoulders to make a good full rotation on an angle, but staying over the golf ball. And I say that's what we need to do to hit some better golf shots. So let me go ahead and hit a couple of shots for you. Uh, I'll probably show you from a couple of different angles because that's going to give you a better visual for what you're trying to do. I've got a seven, thought it was a seven, just checking. I've got a seven iron here, so just going to hit a couple of shots and just give you a couple of different viewpoints so you can see. Okay, pretty happy with that one. So I just hit another couple so you can see from different angles. Okay, pretty happy with that one as well. And last one. Okay, so a good rotation. Absolutely vital to hitting good golf shots with good distance and generating enough speed in this club head to play the course and actually get that ball a little bit further down there. So focus on those three things and hopefully you'll see better rotation and better shots as a result of that. Okay, so thanks for watching the video guys. Uh, if you liked it, please click the like button. If you have any comments, you can post those in the boxes down below and I'll do my best to respond to as many as I can. That could be a comment on this video, it could be a comment on a video you want me to do in the future or anything regarding the videos that I do. And please hit the subscribe button if you haven't done already. Subscription is free, absolutely well worth doing. There should be a link in the description box. You can just click that and that'll take you to the subscription page. Uh, you'll just get first access to the videos and it just means you won't miss any of the content. Okay, so thanks again for watching and we will see you again next time.